We are going to start with a warm up before we get into our deep stretch workout today. Super important to warm up your muscles, even a little bit before you start stretching. Don't want to stretch cold muscles because you could injure yourself. So I'm just going to start by walking around my space. I have my yoga mat out and I'm just going to take some steps along my yoga mat. You can warm up with me. You can warm up any way that feels good for you today. If you need to warm up something extra, take that time now to do so. But as I'm walking, I'm going to add in some arm swings. Just going to swing my arms down at my side, forward and back. Get a little bit of a shoulder rotation in. Loosen up my arms and my shoulders. You could do full arm circles if that feels good as well. Going clockwise and then counterclockwise. Just to loosen up the full body. Once you're feeling good with walking it out, I'm going to come to the center of my yoga mat for windmill toe touches. Going to extend my feet wider than shoulder width apart so I have a really nice base at my feet. Going to put my arms into that T position, elbows are straight, and then opposite hand is going to come down to touch opposite toe or as far as you can go. I'm going to do about 10 of these total. Go at your own speed. Whatever feels good for you today. Should feel that stretch in the backs of your legs and your hamstrings behind your knees, as well as when you twist in your core, some lower back, some core stretch, opening up your hips. A little bit of it all. I'm gonna do a few more. Awesome, last one. And that was about 10. From here, I'm going to leave. I'm going to bring my feet actually um, shoulder width apart. So bring my feet in closer together. And I'm just going to do some core twists, keeping my feet where they are. So I'm just going to turn at my waist to face, for my chest to face to the wall to my right. And then I'm going to turn, have my chest face the wall to the left. Just feeling that twist in my lower back. My, my back's a little bit sore today. So I'm going to stretch this a little bit extra and twist in my hips. If that feels good. My arms are bent. My elbows are bent. I just have light fists in front of my chest. Doing a couple twists here. Awesome. Next one, I'm going to move in to some marching in place. So I'm just going to bring one knee up at a time towards my chest. I'm going to have my hands on my hips. Helps with balance. And I'm just going to go slow feeling that stretch as I'm moving one knee up at a time, stretching my legs, opening up my hips. Gonna do this for about 10 more seconds, just marching in place. You can pick up the speed if you want to get your heart rate up a little bit. You can go a little bit faster. And three, two, one and lower both those legs down. Last warm up exercise we're gonna do is the alternating step and reach. I'm gonna step forward one step with my right foot, leaving my left foot planted where it is. And then I'm gonna reach up towards the ceiling with my left hand, reaching nice and tall, feeling that really tall spine stretch. Then I'm gonna bring my right foot back to start, lower that left hand, and then repeat on the opposite side. So. Opposite foot step and reach. I'm just gonna move through this again about 10 times at your own speed, but feeling kind of that stretch in both directions as you're stepping down and reaching up. Have a few more. Last one. Awesome. We are going to move in to our workout for the day. We're gonna start with our standing stretch sequence and then move into our seated stretch sequence about halfway through. I'm gonna describe the moves as we do them. If you have any questions, just shout them out to me. We're gonna start with our standing stretch, full body deep breathing stretch. We're gonna do this about five times. 
I'm gonna start with my feet wider than shoulder width. Again, that really nice base. When you're ready, I'm gonna reach both hands up overhead, fingertips to the ceiling, extending my spine as tall as I possibly can and taking in a really big inhale breath. On that exhale breath, I'm gonna hinge at my waist, forward fold, bring my hands down to the ground, down to your knees or your feet as far as you can go. We're just gonna move through that sequence again at your own speed about five times. Taking really intentional breaths as we inhale, reach up, and then exhale, forward fold. Nice dynamic movement to really wake up our whole body and take some good deep breaths. Relax and focus on our workout today. I have two more. To feel a nice stretch in the backs of your legs as well as your lower back. And then when you reach up, stretching that spine and your core. On the last one, as you hinge at your waist forward fold, you want to pause at the bottom and just take a moment to let your upper body go loose. You can grab onto opposite elbows, let your head fall. Should really deepen the stretch that you're feeling in your legs and in your back. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly stand back up, feeling your spine curve a little bit at a time until you are back to our standing position. Once you're standing up straight, you can shake out your arms, shake out your legs a little bit. Just take a moment to let your body rest. Take a few deep breaths. We're gonna get into our first standing stretch sequence. We're gonna start with our shoulder stretch. We're gonna do each stretch for 30 seconds and we're gonna go through two times each. So we're getting a nice minute of stretching on either on each stretch that we do. So we're gonna start with our, our shoulder stretch with our fingers laced in front of us to start. So my feet are shoulder width apart. I'm lacing my fingers together in front of my belly button. Palms are facing me and my elbows are bent. When you're ready, I'm gonna extend my arms forward, pushing my elbows out straight, and I'm gonna turn my hands. So now the, the palms of my hands are facing that wall in front of me. Still standing up really tall and adding pressure forward with your hands. You should feel this stretch on the outsides of your shoulders and into your arm a little bit. We'll hold this here for another 15 seconds. Taking some deep breaths. And in three, two, one, lower your hands down. Take a moment to rest. We're gonna do that same thing now back behind us. So when you're ready, interlacing our fingers behind our back this time, our palms starts, our palms start facing the wall behind us, elbows are bent. And then when you're ready, I'm gonna extend my arms out straight back behind me. My hands are gonna turn. So now my fingers, the backs of my hands are facing the wall behind me. My shoulder blades are squeezing together and now I'm feeling that stretch more on the inside of my shoulders. And as I puff my chest out, really feeling that stretch back behind me. Got another 10 seconds here. And three, two, one, and release. Let your arms relax. Take a moment to let them recover. We'll go through that sequence one more time. Starting with lacing our fingers in front of our stomachs this time. And when you're ready, we'll extend those arms out straight, feeling that stretch on the outsides of our shoulders. If it hurts to lace your fingers, 
If you don't like how that feels, you can just grab on to your wrists with your opposite hand and still add that pressure. Fifteen more seconds. Continue standing up tall. And three, two, one, and release. Give those arms a rest for a moment. We have one last time. We're gonna go backwards. When you're ready, lace those fingers behind your back. We're gonna extend our arms back behind us this time. Puffing that chest out, squeezing your shoulder blades together. We got 20 more seconds on this stretch. If you'd like to deepen this stretch from here, you can hinge forward until your chest is facing the ground, which brings your hands up towards the ceiling. Just deepens the stretch you feel in your shoulders as your arms move up. Hold it for a few moments. And three, two, one, and release. Shake out your arms. Give your shoulders a moment to rest. We're gonna move to our next stretch, our next stretch, which is our neck stretch. We just stretched our shoulders. Now we're gonna stretch out a little bit of our neck muscles. Try to ease some tension there. So I'm gonna start with my feet shoulder width apart, have a nice base, feet are flat on the ground. We're gonna start by bringing our right ear down towards our right shoulder. Again, be careful not to raise your shoulders up to meet your ear. You wanna keep your shoulders really neutral and only move your head. So I'm feeling this stretch down the left side of my neck. If you would like to deepen this stretch, you can take your right hand, place it on top of your head by your left ear and just add the most gentle pressure down towards the ground. That's if you need it. You might not need to do that to feel the stretch. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. And bring your head back up to neutral. Take a few moments. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. When you're ready, bring that left ear down towards your left shoulder. Now feeling that stretch on the right side of your neck. To deepen this stretch, you can take your left hand, place it on top of your head by your right ear, and gently add pressure down. Ten more seconds. And three, two, one, and bring your head back up to neutral. We're gonna go through that one more time on both sides. Take a few deep breaths. We will start with that right ear down to our right shoulder. When you're ready, lowering it down, and we'll hold here for 30 seconds. Adding that additional pressure if you want to, or if it feels good for you. Make sure your shoulders are staying neutral. Last 10. And three, two, one and return your head back to neutral. Last 30 seconds here, we're gonna go on our left side. When you're ready, lower that left ear down towards your left shoulder. And we have last 30 seconds of our neck stretch. And in three, two, 
two, one. Return your head to neutral. Take a few moments to recover here from stretching your neck. If you wanna do some shoulder rolls, I'm just rolling my shoulders backwards and then forwards. If you'd like to do some neck circles, just to relieve any tension that's left in your neck, I'm just moving my head in a circle just to release any leftover tension, if that feels good for you. We are gonna move into our alternating side reach stretch. So when you're ready, we're gonna start my feet are shoulder width apart, keeping them still where they are. I'm gonna start by reaching my right hand up overhead, fingertips to the ceiling, but I'm reaching at about my two o'clock, so my arm is on a little bit of an angle, whatever position feels good for you. And then with my left hand, I'm gonna reach my left hand down towards the ground, fingertips to the floor. And then from here, I'm going to lean my body down to the left until I feel that really deep stretch on the right side of my body. I feel a little, a little bit on my left side too as I'm bending, but the majority is on that right side. We're gonna hold here for another 20 seconds. If it feels good to you, you can turn your nose up to point towards the ceiling. Adds a little bit of a deepening to that stretch. Or you can keep it neutral, whatever feels best. And three, two, one. I'm gonna return back to standing, lower my hands down, shake them out a little bit. If it feels good to you, you can widen the base with your legs a little bit. That might help with some balance. And we're gonna go again now on the left side. So when you're ready, reaching that left hand up overhead at a slight angle. So now I'm at about my nine o'clock reaching, but my elbows are straight. You're gonna point that right hand down towards the ground fingertips pointed towards the floor, and then I'm going to lean into that right side, so leaning to my right, until I feel that stretch through the left side of my body. Try to keep your hips in line, keep them stacked. Don't try to bend at your hips. You wanna keep your base really nice and tight and just feel that stretch on your sides. Again, you can turn your nose up to point towards the ceiling. Last 10 seconds here. And three, two, one, and release. Come back up to standing. Lower those arms down. You can shake them out if it feels good. Let yourself have a moment to rest. We're gonna go through that one more time. When you're ready, starting on that right side, raise our right arm up towards the ceiling, raise that left hand, or lower that left hand, fingertips to the floor, and we're gonna lean into our left side for our 30 seconds here. Last 15. And three, two, one. And relax, lower those arms down. Our last 30 seconds, we're gonna do the same thing on our left side. When you're ready, raise that left hand up towards the ceiling, right hand points down to the ground, and this time we're gonna lean down to that right side. Last 30 seconds here. Don't forget to breathe. Take some deep breaths as you're holding these stretches. It can be easy to kind of hold your breath 
but really be intentional about breathing through all of the stretches. Last 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and release. Lower those arms down. Take a moment to recover. We have a few more standing stretches before we move to our seated stretches. So we focused on all, some of our upper body stretches. We're gonna move into our lower body stretches here with our hamstring stretch. So when you're ready, I'm gonna start with my feet shoulder width apart. We'll start with our right leg first. I'm gonna step my leg, my right leg, one step in front of my left. My right toes are pointed up towards the ceiling. My right heel is on the ground. I have a slight bend in my left leg and I'm trying to keep my right leg straight. From here, we're gonna hinge at your waist, sticking your butt back and then leaning forward until your chest is facing the ground or until you feel that stretch in the back of your right leg, your right hamstring. And we're gonna hold this for 30. If you have a wall next to you, you can grab on for some stability or anything that you need. Or you can also do this sitting in a chair if balance is not working for you today. Last 10 seconds. And three, two, one. I'm gonna stand up, step that right foot back to meet my left. Take a moment to let my legs recover. Get some feeling back into them. And then we're gonna go ahead same thing on our left leg. Step one foot forward with that left leg. Toes are in the air. Heel is planted on the ground. Have a slight bend in my right knee, trying to keep that left leg straight. And then hinging at my waist, sticking my butt back, trying to bring my chest to point towards the floor. You might have one leg that is a little bit tighter than the other leg. You'll definitely be able to feel it. That's totally okay. Got 20 more seconds here. Last 10. And three, two, one. Stand back up, bring that left foot back to meet your right. And take a moment to just shake your legs out recover a little bit. We're going to go one more time through on both sides. Really focusing on feeling that stretch in the backs of your legs. When you're ready, we'll start with that right leg. Step one step forward with your right foot. Toes are in the air. Left knee is bent. And then we'll hinge into this hamstring stretch here. This time, if you would like to try to deepen the stretch, you can bring your hands down to try to touch your right toe. And you can even gently pull up on those toes to extend and deepen that stretch. You could try to bring your hands to the ground on either side of your toes, or you can just keep them where they are. Last 10 seconds here. And three, two, one. Stand back up. Bring that right foot back to center. Take a moment to shake your legs out. We got one more round of our hamstring stretch on our left leg. When you're ready, we'll step that left foot one step forward, hinge at our waist. We got 30 seconds of our left leg stretch. Again, to deepen the stretch, you can bring your hands down along your leg. Try to reach your left toes. You can pull those toes in towards your body. 
Try to bring your hands to the ground. Last 10. And three, two, one, and recover. Stand back up, shake your legs out. We're gonna finish with one last standing stretch before we move into our seated stretches. Again, lower body stretch here. We're gonna do a forward fold. So we just stretched out our hamstrings. Now we're gonna take that into a forward fold. So I'm gonna start with my feet shoulder width apart. Give a, have a nice comfortable, comfortable base. I'm gonna reach my hands up towards the ceiling. Fingertips come overhead. Again, making my spine and my body as tall as I possibly can. And then we are going to hinge at our waist, forward fold, hands come down to the ground, to your knees, to your ankles, as far as you can go. We're gonna hold this for 30. Options here, you can hold the stretch statically for 30, or you can stand back up, take a breath, and then lower back down. Kind of move through it more dynamically. Whatever feels good for you. We got 15 more seconds. And three, two, one. Let's stand back up. Again, take a moment. Let your body recover. Let your muscles relax. We're gonna go one more time, forward fold. Again, you can hold it or you can do it, move through it a couple times. See if you can get a little bit farther than you did last time now that we're, our legs are really warmed up. We'll go again, reaching my hands up towards the ceiling, fingertips overhead, making my body as tall as I can. And then forward fold, hands come down. got 20 more seconds of our forward fold stretch. If you want to deepen this, you can take your hands, press them on the backs of your legs, kind of the backs of your calves, and then you can gently pull your chest in towards your knees. Try to get your body even a little bit closer to your legs. And in three, two, one, stand back up. Take a few moments to relax. Relax here. We are halfway through our workout. We're gonna transition to our seated workout sequence. So take a moment, grab some water, make your way onto the ground in a seated position. Let your body and your muscles relax a little bit as we just take a moment to relax. We are gonna start our seated sequence with a seated spine rotation. So we're gonna start by sitting on our bottoms. I'm gonna extend my legs out straight in front of me. My toes are pointed towards the ceiling and I'm sitting up as tall as I can, really making sure my spine is in line with my tailbone, sitting up really tall. From here, we'll start with our seated spine rotation. Again, there's a couple ways to do this stretch, just depending on how you're feeling today. I'm gonna start with my right leg. I'm gonna bring my right knee up towards my chest and I'm gonna cross my right foot over my left leg. So now my right foot is on the outside of my left knee or pretty close. From here, you can take both of your hands, hug this knee in towards your chest. As you're sitting up tall, you should feel this stretch on the outsides of your right leg into your glutes and your lower back. This feels good. You can hold it here. If you wanna take this into a spine rotation, I'm gonna take my right hand, place it behind my back, 
for some stability. I'm gonna twist at my core and turn my chest to face to the right. I'm gonna take my left elbow and put it on the outside of my right knee to really deepen this twist that I have from adding pressure to twist my core even deeper. And we'll hold it here for another 15 seconds. Did a lot of talking through that one, but we'll hold it. And three, two, one. Untwist your core, lower that leg back down. Again, just take a moment to recover. We'll do the same thing with our left leg. So again, you can choose if you wanna add the spine rotation or not. We're gonna start by bringing that left knee up towards our chest, cross my left foot over my right leg, hugging that knee in towards my chest, adding gentle pressure with my hands, pulling towards my body. Taking into that spine rotation, using my left hand for support behind my body, turning my chest to face the left, and then using my right elbow on the outside of my left knee to really add some more rotation here. If your back is a little sore, like mine is, you definitely might feel it more than you have in previous weeks. So just keep in mind what it feels like as you're stretching. You always want it to feel like a stretch, but never feel painful. And in three, two, one, untwist, lower that leg back down. And just take a moment to relax. We'll go through that sequence one more time. I will talk a little bit less so we can go a little quicker. When you're ready, we'll start with that right leg, bringing that right knee up towards your chest, crossing your legs, and then into that spine rotation. And we'll hold here for 30 seconds. Again, try to keep your spine as tall as you can. I find myself kind of arching my back here. Really feels the best when you're sitting up really tall. Last 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and release. Lower that leg down. Last 30 seconds, we'll go on our left leg. When you're ready, I'm gonna bring my left knee in towards my chest, cross my foot over my right leg, and then turn into that seated spine rotation here for our last 30 seconds. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, and release. Lower your legs back down towards the ground. Take a few deep breaths here. Let your spine rest, let your legs rest. Our next stretch that we are going to do, we are going to lay down on our backs. So laying down so my spine is flat against the ground, keeping my legs extended out in front of me. My hands are at my side. We'll just take a moment here as you lower down to the ground to just see how it feels to have your spine resting flat against the ground your body is in a straight line and everything's relaxed, we are going to move into a lying twist. 
So similar to the seated spine rotation we just did, except now we're laying flat, so our range of motion is a little bit different. Again, two different ways to do it. I'm gonna start by bringing up that, my right knee up towards my chest. So now I'm coming all the way in towards my chest, leaving my left leg on the ground, taking both of my hands at my right knee, and then just gently pushing in towards my body. If you don't wanna add in the lying twist, you can hold this position here stretches out your glutes, your quads, your hips. If you do want to take it into a lying twist from here, I'm going to take this right knee, bring it across my body towards my left, lower that right knee, if you can, down to the ground on that left side. Then I'm going to take my right hand, extend it towards the wall to my right, and then I'm going to turn my head to face the wall to my right. So I'm feeling that really deep stretch in my lower to middle back, in my hips. We'll hold here for another 10 seconds. And three, two, one. I'm gonna un twist my legs, lower that right leg down to meet my left leg. Taking just one moment here to lay still. And then we're going to repeat that same thing with our left leg. So when you're ready, raising that left knee up towards our chest. Again, you can hold it here with that pressure on the top of your knee as you're pulling in towards your body. Or you can take this into a lying twist going to bring that left leg across your body to your right. If you can, lower that knee all the way to the ground. Extend your left hand out towards the left, elbow is straight, and then turn your nose so your head faces the wall to your left. We got 20 more seconds here. It doesn't feel good to turn your head towards the left. You can keep your head neutral. Turning that head just adds a little bit added stretch. So again, whatever feels good. And in three, two, one, untwist your core, bring that leg back over and lower it down. We'll take one moment here to just let our body relax. We're gonna do that one more time on both sides. So again, choose what feels good for you. If you just wanna hold that knee to chest position or if you wanna get into a lying twist, up to you. We'll start with our right leg, bringing that knee up towards your chest and then moving it across my body to my left. We'll hold here for our last 30 seconds on that right side. And in three, two, one, untwist your legs, lower it, that right leg back down. Last 30 seconds of this stretch, we're gonna do our left leg. When you're ready, raise that left knee in towards your chest, bringing it across my body to the right side and we'll hold here for the last 30 seconds of our lying twist. Last 10 seconds. And three, 
two, one, and release. Lower those legs down. Take a moment to recover here. When you're ready, I'm gonna sit up into a seated position. Take your time getting there. We're moving into our last 15 minutes of our workout today. Have a few more seated stretch sequences before we get into a cool down. So I, we stretched out our spine and our hips. Now we're gonna move into a seated butterfly stretch or our 90-90 stretch. And um, we've done both of these, so you can choose which one feels best for you. If you're choosing that butterfly stretch, we're sitting on our bottom. The bottoms of our, of our feet are coming together, pulling your feet in towards your body as close as you can, that feels comfortable. And then just holding this position, you should feel it opening up your hips and in your groin, holding this stretch. If you'd like to do the 90-90 stretch, I'm gonna start by having my feet extended out in front of me, legs are straight. I'm gonna take my left foot, bring my left foot in and bending my left knee. So my left knee is pointed towards the wall to my left. My left foot is sitting at the inside of my right leg. And now with my right leg, I'm going to bend my right knee, but bring my right foot back behind. So now my right foot, the bottom of my right foot is pointed towards the wall behind me and my right knee is pointed forward. From this position, you can just make little adjustments to deepen that stretch. Holding it here right now, I feel it in my groin as well as my hips. But to deepen this stretch, you can take that right knee and just go back towards the wall behind you. So now my foot, my right foot is even closer to that wall back behind me and my hips are open even wider and I'm sitting up really straight, holding it here for another 10 seconds. And in three, two, one, and release. Gonna bring both of my legs out straight in front of me just to give my hips a rest for a moment. We'll do that one more time. If you're still doing the butterfly stretch, you can do it one more time. If you're doing the 90-90 stretch, I'm going to switch sides. So now my legs are straight. I'm going to bring my right foot in towards my body. So now my right knee is bent, pointed towards the right. And the bottom of my right foot is up against the inside of my left leg. From here, bending that left knee so that my foot is pointed back behind me. So the bottom of my left foot is pointing to the wall behind me. And my left knee is pointed towards the wall in front of me. From here, again, I'll make little adjustments, kind of moving that right or my left foot back behind me even further to open my hips up wider. And we'll hold here for the last 20 seconds. Sitting up tall. Last 10. And in three, two, one, and release. Bringing my legs out forward to give my hips a rest. For our next stretch, we are going to get up into a tall kneeling position. So I am on my knees. My bottom is off of my legs, so I'm sitting up tall while my knees are on the ground. The bottoms of my feet are on the mat and the tops of my feet are on the mat. The bottoms of my feet are pointed up towards the ceiling. From here, we are going to do a kneeling side bend stretch. 
So I'm gonna take my right leg and extend it out straight to my right. So I'm kneeling on my left knee, but my right leg is straight and I'm using my right foot to support my, bod my body on the ground. From Our here, I'm gonna take... What was that? Sorry. What is our toes pointed forward or up to the ceiling? Um, I have my toes on the ground, but if it feels good to have your toes pointed up towards the ceiling, that's totally fine as well. Whatever feels the best. From here, we are going to take our left hand, bring it up over our head and lean to our right side. So we're leaning towards the side of our leg that is straight. I have my right hand just resting on my right thigh for a little bit of support as I lean into that right side. I feel this stretch as another side bend stretch on my left side, but I also feel it in the inside of my right leg. So kind of two different areas here. Last 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and release. Gonna bring my right leg in. So now I'm kneeling on both legs again. We're gonna do the same thing this time, but with our left leg extended. So I'm gonna extend that left leg out to my left side. Again, you can have your toes pointed in the air or you can have them down onto the ground, whatever feels good. Taking your right hand this time, reaching up overhead, fingertips are now pointing towards the left and I'm going to lean down to the left side keeping my left hand on my left leg for a little bit of support here. And we'll hold for the last 15 seconds. If it doesn't feel great for you to have your leg extended straight, you can also bring the bottoms of your foot to the ground and have your knee bent. Takes a little bit of pressure off of the inside of your leg. Totally up to you. And three, two, one, and return your knees back to kneeling. Take a moment here to recover. You can sit back onto your feet. If you wanna take some pressure off of your knees. We're gonna go one more time last stretch of our seated sequence before we get into our cool down stretches. Starting with our right leg, left leg is kneeling, right leg is extended, and we're going to lean in to that right side. Last 30 seconds here. In this kneeling position, I find I can bend a little bit further to my side than I can when I'm standing. So I feel the stretch a little bit deeper. Last 10 seconds. And three, two, one. And release, bringing that right knee back in last 30 seconds of our kneeling side bend, extending that left leg out to the left side. This time we're bending towards our left and we'll hold for 30. Last 15. And three, two, one, and release. Get into a position that feels good for you to just relax for a moment. 
you need to take some pressure off of your knees. I'm just sitting on my bottom here. We're gonna move into the last about seven minutes of our workout today. We're gonna get into a little bit of a cool down just to finish our workout off. I'm gonna start by sitting on my bottom. My legs are extended out in front of me straight. Toes are pointed towards the ceiling. We're gonna start with a one thirty second forward fold, a seated forward fold this time. So when you're ready, I'm gonna extend my hands up towards the ceiling, taking a nice inhale, getting really tall, and then exhale, reaching for my toes or ankles as far as you can go. And we're just gonna hold this for one count for another 20 seconds. Last 10. And three, two, one, and release. From this seated position, I'm gonna lie onto my back one more time on our backs here. You can keep your legs extended out in front of you as you lay down. And as soon as you're in a comfortable lying position, I'm gonna bring both knees this time in towards my chest at the same time. Gonna have my right hand on my right knee, my left hand on my left knee, and I'm just gonna gently hug both of my knees in towards my chest here. From this position, we're just going to take 30 seconds to feel this stretch in our lower backs, on our spine, a little bit in our hamstrings and our glutes with that pressure on our knees. From here, if you would like to rock gently side to side or forward and back, it's like a little gentle massage on your spine as you're in this position. Ten more seconds. And three, two, one, and release. We have about five more minutes. I'm going to flip around now to get onto a position on all fours for some cat cow. My hands are stacked underneath my shoulders. My knees are stacked underneath my hips. Move through some cat cow at your own speed for about a minute here. Be really intentional with your movements, bringing my spine all the way up towards the ceiling sucking my belly button in, lowering my head, chin to my chest, and then the opposite way, lowering my belly button down to the ground so my spine is curved in the opposite direction, bringing my head up, face the wall in front of me. Let's move through that a few more times. From our cat cow position, we're gonna move into thread the needle. You can stay in cat cow if you do not want to do this one, but if you do, I'm gonna start by bringing my left hand through the space created by my right hand and my right knee. I'm going to reach that left hand through that space, lower my left shoulder down towards the ground. 
And I'm going to hold this position here. When you're ready, I'm going to come back up, do the same thing on the opposite side. Now I'm gonna reach that right hand through the space created by my left hand and my left knee, lower that right shoulder down to the ground. We'll hold it here for 30 seconds. Last minute here, I'm gonna come up out of this stretch. One last minute today of our workout, I'm gonna get into child's pose, bring my feet, toes together, separate my knees, sit back onto my feet, keeping my arms extended forward, bringing my head, my chest down to the ground. You can get into any position that you wanna finish off on today, just to let your body relax. a few deep breaths think about how your body's feeling think about how your muscles are feeling and when you are ready we will come up out of our final stretch waking our body up waking our muscles up and I want to thank you all for being here today for our Tuesday morning deep stretch. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you later in the week. Thanks everyone. Thank you,